summer now and you've probably been wondering why you've been seeing you know pictures of Yale on my snapchat and why why I would choose to come back here during my summer well, one it feels great to be back I love to be back but I'm actually back here for a reason those of you that don't know I posted a video a couple weeks ago talking about how to make the most of your summer so go check that out if you haven't yet but on that video I got a ton of questions asking hey Josh like what are you doing this summer which uh, it's, a, it's a fair question, it's a fair question. And of course, I wasn't just gonna answer that question in a YouTube comment section when you know I could make a big video about it. So that's what I'm doing right here. Let's get into it. I moved out of Yale on May 9th. I had my last final the night before and then I packed up all my stuff and just moved out. Now you're probably wondering why I've still been posting Yale vlogs. Well, I had a ton of footage from the past five weeks, just like I promised. It's taken me a while to kind of put it all together and edit them all into like individual vlogs. That's better. As soon as school lit out, I was actually home for two and a half weeks and got to relax and kind of recuperate from the past semester. I've been chilling, hanging with all the old high school friends, winning a bunch of money playing poker, and of course, filming a lot of videos. I've also been working on some programming stuff now that I've finally had time. Maybe I'll talk about that in a future video. But most of all, I spent a lot of time studying. You're probably like, Josh, why are you studying during the summer? Well, actually, on May 26th, I actually left my home to come back to Yale for four weeks to do a Yale study abroad program for French. So the program consists of four intensive weeks of French classes here at Yale, and then the class moves to Paris where I'll have four more weeks of classes, except they will be in Paris, and I'll get to explore the city every day, and we have like planned activities and stuff. It'll be a great time. I'm excited because I'll get a chance to live with a host family and get to speak French pretty much 24 7 This really worked out perfectly. So when you come to Yale, you take placement tests for a bunch of different classes, one of those being language. I took French in high school, and the placement test stuck me in a level three French here at Yale. Therefore, I'm required to take two semesters of French here at Yale, L3 and L4. I knew I was considering doing a study abroad program at some point, so rather than just jumping straight into L3 my first semester, I decided to push it off till the summer, and now I'm doing the L3, L4 program all during the summer and I'll knock out my entire language requirement and I won't have to worry about taking any more language classes at Yale, which is great. I'm back at Yale now, I'm living in Berkeley College with all the other study abroad kids from the Spanish and the Russian programs, as well as a bunch of kids that are here doing research. It's definitely cool living in a different residential college than TD. Um, I eat in Morse for every single meal, which I did a lot during the year, but it's kind of cool to see a different side of the whole residential college system during the summer because the only colleges that are open are Berkeley, Morrison Styles. As soon as I finish my classes up at Yale, I jump on a plane to Paris. I'm really excited because I'll have a couple hours of class in the morning, but then after that, I'm really just free to explore the city. I'm excited to go on a lot of runs, you know, maybe even perform some street magic in French. Uh, definitely drop a comment down below if you'd like to see that. Uh, that definitely be quite a challenge, but I'm down to try. I'm just glad it worked out because some of the language programs were pretty selective and cut a lot of people, so I'm, I'm glad I got a spot. I'm glad I get to go to Paris for the summer, and I'm excited to make a lot of videos there and continue making videos here while I'm back at Yale. So the whole French thing takes up all of June and July, and then I have a couple weeks free in August, but then the week before I go back to school, I am a counselor at K I'll be coming for your love Anyways, if you'd like to see more videos, kind of me chilling out here at Yale, like I think this is SSS Hall up here, I don't know if you can see it. Gigantic tower on the corner of Prospect Street. I'm just chilling here in the uh, courtyard filming this video for you guys. If you'd like to see more videos out here at Yale because it's like empty right now because of summer session, definitely let me know. Definitely let me know in the comment section below. Um, and subscribe if you haven't yet because you're missing out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.
Can you hear the drum?